Right, so our next movement is gonna be the kettlebell snatch. It's gonna be the same setup as our single arm swing. So Chris is gonna set up the tripod again. From there, he's gonna lean that kettlebell. Now we're just gonna perform a few single arm swings first to get it going and feel the momentum. Good. Once he's done a couple of them, he's gonna to start to bend that elbow slightly and raise it up. So we call this a high pull, just letting that kettlebell float. Good, once he feels that point where it floats and it does feel weightless, what he wants to do from there is punch and turn it over and think about coming into that position where we end for the press. So big push, punch. Good, and again, punch. Each time, he wants to keep quite loose grip so he can allow the cat hand to move through the kettlebell. If he death grips it, he's gonna find the turnover is gonna be slow. So show us one where you death grip it, there. So he wants a quite loose grip so he can punch through and meet the kettlebell at the top every time. Chris is gonna show us one or two reps, send it out wide and what it will do. So if he goes out wide, you're fine. It's gonna be a lot of pressure on the back and it's gonna send you out your rhythm. And as you can see, it's pulling them forward. Now this is only a 16 key kettlebell, but if we are a lot heavier with this, you'll find it'll pull them even more with that. Rest.